Ah, bolts. <laughs> nice touch. Nice touch. I love it. So here's what she's been busy with. Check this out, man. Look at this. If there's oh bumper bumper boats, I see. Uh, if there's one thing I learned about Emily the second I got on the server is that she's the type of person who could just if you supply her with the pickaxes, she'll supply you with all day digging and chopping and hacking. And there's a tree underwater. Cool. Strange. Well, no, she's not strange. She's silly. It says it right there in her name. Silly Emily. But look at this. I think she carved all this out. Or built up around it, even. Actually, I think that's exactly what she did. I think she built up around this. And maybe man made, or sorry, woman made this herself. That is just somebody like me crazy. I mean, people come by my little house there. Oh, look, it's a big house. Wow, that thing is big. But this is a lot of terraforming, man. I believe Stark was doing something along a lot the lines of a lot of terraforming as well. I don't even know where hers is though. And Emily is like right uh, northwest of me, I believe. And I'm gonna show you the craziest part of this. And I know Emily, don't get mad. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Catch me a whale. But you know what? A hard work needs to be showcased. That's the way I see it. Yes, that's a bunny rabbit. Do you know why there's a bunny rabbit? Look at that. It's so big it's making my computer lag. I better like look down or something. Get that FPS up. Look at all that. Uh oh, she sprung a leak. <laughs> Her lake is a giant bull. She's gonna give me a bunch of fish. <laughs> anyway, lots and lots of hard work. He just died. CQB instant insanity just died. There you go. Anyway, what I'm really talking about, uh, I don't know how many people on here have ever read or watched uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I really loved that book series. Well, here's the explanation for it, Emily and uh, Possum. It, it comes from a book series, and at some point, at some point, you find out that all the dolphins are aliens, and well, the world is in imminent danger of being destroyed by a group of warmongering aliens, and the dolphins are like, "Hey, psh, I'm out of here," and their last message was to the world was, "So long, and thanks for all the fish." And so I use that before I get off. And I find out, it turns out that actually a lot of people use that. Um, and in fact, if you go into MS-DOS and type in towel.blinkinglights.nl, I think, or something like that. Uh, no, uh, telnet space towel.blinkinglights. Uh, it's blinking with E-N instead of I-N at the end. Lights.nl. I'm pretty sure it's what it is. You'll get a, a whole ASCII uh animation of Star Wars. It's pretty epic. I love it. And uh, this is what people spend their time with before they started playing Minecraft, believe it or not. And uh, at the end of that, the creator wrote, so long and thanks for all the fish. Uh, and I used to say it on my last server as well. And it earned me a nice uh, <laughs> prank. See, because I'd been gone for a while and they didn't know what I was talking about on there either. And they thought that I was uh, insinuating that I was a cat. 
So what they decided to do was they turned my place on the server into a giant litter box. That was not fun to clean up. But it was funny. I mean, I could see from their point of view, so therefore I was laughing the whole time. Darn, no, what am I going to do with all this gravel? Giant litter box. It was pretty funny. I can't remember if I got any pictures of that. I wish I'd have had video. Damn. That's what this is. It's a damn. I love that. I gotta set that on a loop. What I'm gonna do with this house, uh, I want, I want people to tell me, what do you think? You think I oughta go ahead and put a dangerous aspect to the house? Put a basement in it full of, you know, like, not something that's going. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing that's going to kill you, like, Dang, she ding-dong ditched me now. I don't even know where she went. How'd she do that? Oh! <laughs> uh, you know, it's not like guaranteed death, but dangerous, you know. I saw some ideas such as um, a skull. I really love, the first thing that really caught my attention was this skull. What am I hearing? It's like, it's like sawing wood outside. What is wrong with these people? Only in this neighborhood. Just, just, just to, yeah, give you some background on that. It's wet and cold out there, and nobody has business being out there sawing wood. Dang it! Not while I'm recording a video. <gasps> Did I have a helmet on that? Oh, you know what she showed me? This is just hilarious. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Anyway, go back, back, no, turn forward. Half leather, half diamond, or uh, I'm trying to play up my armor here, and I. Anyway, what was I saying? Get distracted way too easy. Got melons over here. Because, as I pointed out, I was going to have melon walls. Let me see how far that got. It got as far as... That's ugly! And then I stopped that kind of nonsense. How does she get all that building done when she's always running around just being a goofball? She's more productive than she seems, trust me, as I've shown with the dam. Tell you what, I don't think I'll ever run out of melons. Jeez, donut. <laughs> I love this guy's skin, man. Anyway. Fun, fun. This is what it's been like. This is what it's been like since I haven't been, uh... Since, uh, yeah, I haven't been recording. Just... I start off with, uh, with an idea, and then... Get company and being the, I don't know, magpie I am. I just see something shiny and say, oh, let's do that instead. What a cool little floating islands up there. Where'd Donut Eater go? Donut Eater, I believe, is on my friends list on the uh, engine, engine forums. Never seen him around here. Chatting a couple times. I wonder what he's been up to. Jeez. <laughs> See, like I said. <laughs> Looks like she's guarding the place. 
Which is different for her. She never wears armor. I hear spider. Let's test out this new bow. Bam! We have a burning spider on the roof. Not bad. Actually, I might be stronger than the previous one. What is that? Power 4. What was the last one? Did the last ah the last one had punch. The last one had punch. That's what this needs. Did I have a bow that had punch? You know what? Actually, and I said I was gonna mount this on the wall, but I imagine they gave it to me for a reason. So it's got punch one. Is there? There's a punch two, but you know what? They gave it to me. So I will use it, so therefore I will use it wisely. It is now an upgrade. Haha, <laughs> learn how to use a door, Jason. One of these days. Oh, bye. Oh, well. FOMO levels, and I'll be good to go. I've just been stuffing all the melons up here. I don't know where to put them, so... Gotta name that dog. Don't know what to name it. What am I gonna name you, dog? Keep that. Because I already know me, I'm about to just be derping around for a long, long time. No real goal. What am I gonna name you? I thought you had an orange collar. Anyway, I'm going to turn your collar green one of these days. Why? Because I like green. I'm going to go ahead and fly. What's up, Skelly? Bye-bye, Skelly. Man, this flying. Wow. Just what? Ah, tree! Crash and burn. Shouldn't be looking underground like that. Look, that's how fast I'm going. I can't... Camera can't even keep up. What's that need? Like 15 levels, something like that. Oh, let's come down here and listen to all the zombies moaning and groaning. Who's that? It's a Golem King. Welcome. Mr. Solomon. Punch, 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 punch. Ah, of course, that's the ambient sounds I was talking about. All that, all that water. There's a poisonous tater in here. What in the world? Well, I have yet to have a diamond sword on here. Who left me a diamond sword? That is awesome. Oh, thank you, mysterious being. Anybody else in here? Anything cool? Sort that chest. Well, that is really nice of somebody. I want to put some grass. You know what? I need to get this bunny up out of this hole one day, but I don't know where he's going to go. The bunny does not belong. Ah! Bunnies and dinosaurs do not belong in a hole. Difference is dinosaurs can fly for right now. And pigosaurs can fly. Ah. So I burrowed uh, this right here. So I can just kind of uh, half AFK. What I'll do is I'll sit over here, maybe chat, uh, jump on Facebook or something, or uh, check out online what I'm going to do next and everything while I'm waiting for the zombies to build up. Because I don't like to just fully AFK. That's like, that's like cheating. That's like cheating the game a little bit, you know? Uh, so like stay on and be still active, but I mean there's only so much you can do while sitting in range of the spawner, so and that's why we make spawners. I was forgetting to shift. You know what I learned, and I don't know how you could see it. Supposedly these little letters that are floating around right here actually start off in the book, and then they actually flow into the book cases and then come back out white. Anybody see black letters going in there? Yeah, me neither. I don't know. Here little baby zombie. You know it's funny to say it took three hits to kill him, but if I put this one more down then they die once they land. So 
to show you uh, how slow and take these actually. The trusty uh, andesite blocks. I imagine that would have actually worked better with uh, glass, but whatever. So I can actually see. Another cobble. Oh, well, you're wearing armor. Stop cheating. I mean, a punch has got to take away at least, what, like a, a half a heart at least. So, if I punch in a regular unarmored zombie three times to kill him, then you would think that lowering this by two more blocks was, I think uh, every every block they fall after three blocks is a half a heart, once they do hit something solid. So you would think I should be able to lower this two blocks, but no. Mr. Zombie there just died on impact, so... I don't know. But I'll tell you what, though, if you want to just straight up get drops, I mean, you just manually... It is empty under there, so you could just, uh, you know, manually dig down there. Place my Andy. Andy's a sight. Three hits for a kill. I don't know, maybe my little dino arms just aren't strong enough. So that's gotta be what it is, right? I'll cook these salmon up. Might as well. Yeah, speaking of zombies. Zombies and Christmas and all that. I went ahead and posted up on Zombie Ate You, my, uh, that's my Facebook page, my Facebook group, uh, community page. It's called Zombie Ate You. And it's about, it's not all about survival. It's, mm, no, no, it's not all about survival. See, I have to, I have to actually <laughs> convince myself. Uh, it would seem like it, but it's more about lifestyle. It's kind of a, just this spot where all all lifestyles mesh together, uh, whenever it pertains to ways to make living better and more secure, I guess, and cheaper, stuff like that. Um, it is very tiny right now. So far I've got 10 likes and pretty much all of them are from my own friends on Facebook. Pretty pathetic, I know it. But um, I posted on there that I have some goals for New Year's. I say goals and not, not uh, what are those things called? Resolutions. Because resolutions are for people who say, I'm going to lose some weight. And then they don't. My goals are goals. I want to make a rocket stove for my zombie survival van. Yes, I do have one. And one of these days I'm going to take pictures of it. Um, I actually want to make it look cooler first though. Because uh, it's not like super ultra decked out or nothing. It's more like I've got a couple magnets and stickers and some spare food and such on the inside. You know. And that's not nothing worth showing off. Uh... But one of these days, whenever I make it really cool, if I ever get into some good money, I'm even going to add a custom paint job to it. But, uh, yeah. So, what I wanted to do is I want to put a rocket stove in there. Just a cheap one. Uh, I've got a lot of canned food stashed in there. Stuff that'll last a while, but also tastes real good, you know. And I want to kind of, uh, uh, cycle it, you know put new stuff in there as I go and just eat up the old stuff and uh, I also this is why I put it on a website because I can't even remember what I was doing but the biggest thing my actual resolution uh, is to get a jar and for every big thing important thing and good thing all, that's the most important part is every good thing that has happened that happens next year to write it down on a piece of paper and put it in that jar and then come 2016 I can post it all on the website or read it all out you know for Thanksgiving or something you know say well what am I thankful for well here we go you know here's all the cool things that happened in 2015 I think that's a very worthwhile goal Was it 15 levels that I needed? I think it was 15. Shovel. Bovine. <laughs> I love it. 17. I'm pretty sure it was 15. 
What am I even trying to put on here? Punch one. Power three. Unbreaking three. Well, darn it. You know, it probably went up too because this was actually repaired. And now I'm also repairing it. Yes, that's got to be... What's up, zombie villager? I think it'd be nice to incorporate a villager in there somehow into that house, but I just don't know how. I need ideas. I don't mind stealing ideas from others either. If anybody wants to leave something in the comments while you're liking and subscribing me because you know you want to. We all know you want to. Maybe we don't. But either way, just do it. You got to. It's common courtesy. Your mom taught you that while you were growing up. She said, whenever you start YouTubing, you just got to hit like and subscribe on everything. That's the thumbs up button and the red button. I think it's a red button. Come on, it says subscribe. And if you can't read, I will make a video showing you how to read. Jason is Soros way. Roar, 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 roar. Yeah, I like that. This is something me and Louis, aka Jim, aka Gymnastic, have been going back and forth about. I've been saying, I want to see your house, um, like, forever. He keeps on saying, well, come over now, come over now, but I'm always doing something. Somebody's always got my attention. I'm always derping out. I like it. He's probably going to fill these up, I guess. You know, if I were him, I'd do. Leather, iron, diamond, gold. Same on this side. Leather, kind of like uh, what's that picture with the with the monkeys coming up from the sea and start all hunched over, you know, start hunched over and then they walk forward and, and they're all man and everything. Yeah, that's what I would do. So this is the inside. He's got himself a little TV set up over here. He should make the speakers on the side. Get uh, a block of oak or something down there. Oak, uh, plank. Mm, yeah, and then a couple of uh, gray wool. Look like giant speakers. Maybe set up mini ones back here for surround. That'd be real sweet. If you watch this, Louie, you gotta do that. Cake. Oh, jeez. <laughs> if anybody's ever watched a video of mine, the elusive cake. Jeez. Everybody gets cake but Jason is source. How's this work out? Crazy chest pattern. I like it. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty nice. I've always been the iron bars are nice to new texture pack. Iron bars. Oh, oh, okay. I wonder which texture pack that is. Don't that look pretty sweet? It's kind of what it looks like on the map. And it's a very detailed one too. Oh, Christmas texture pack. Oh, so we made this as kind of a Christmas build. Sweet, okay. So then what's he got going on over here? A uh, farm. Well, sir, I love your house. So put the door. I bet it's Emily. Uh-huh, of course it's Emily. <laughs> <laughs> T 
teach you to mess around with the doors. Actually, I just saw... Oh, I thought she went in the chimney. <laughs> Security, I got a complaint. There's a woman out there. She, she's always messing around. She's stalking people. That's what she is. She's a stalker. Look, there she is. Get her. Get her. She's right there. Look, she's throwing cookies at people. What kind of monster does that? Just... Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, I didn't know we were playing the bribe game here. You people disgust me. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go hang out with the squid. Oh, was I even recording? I think I just skipped a whole chunk. Oh, oops. Yeah, the numbers were white up there. The FPS. White means I'm paused. Red means I'm recording. Oops. Oh, I missed that one. I used to be pretty good at this. <clears throat> oh, ah, yeah, creeper.